Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Seatbelts are optional. However, disclaimer, we do recommend that you fasten your seatbelts loosely in case we experience a bumpy night. It's now time to recognize those who have been nominated by yourselves who have gone far and beyond the call of duty. All our winners tonight will receive a decorative potted plant kindly donated by Indoor Garden Design and Intray. So please welcome back to your screens live, well almost live, star of TV's hit series, SAS Who Dares Wins, Miss Liz Abram. Can I stop doing this funny voice now? It's great to be here tonight with all of you to celebrate your first anniversary. The first awards category tonight is continued commitment to the charity and we've got seven winners. Carhill. She applied to be a hospital volunteer so she can help out in other ways when she's not in the lounge and came dressed in scrubs to the lounge on superhero day as nurses are our favourite heroes but she's a hero in her own right and always there to save the day. Hi everyone since I received the phone call last week telling me that I've been nominated for an award I've been totally overwhelmed and shocked and I'd just like to thank you the person who nominated me in the first place. I have absolutely loved working in Alderhead with Lungman Lounge, which I started doing because it was an ideal way for me to show our appreciation to our NHS heroes. Since then, I've made so many new friends within the NHS staff, but also other airline crew who are amazing. Anyway, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone. And we also had the good news this week that our Alderhead Lounge is going to be running indefinitely, which is amazing news because we're all made up and we absolutely love working there. Anyway, once again, thank you. The next winner is Emine Sinfield. She's committed, she's motivated, positive, volunteering nearly every day. She's unflappable, even when a medical skeleton was hidden in the key cupboard to scare her when she opened the lounge up one morning. Hi everyone, hope you are all well and safe. I just would like to thank you my fellow volunteers and Project Wingman for nominating me for the award for continued commitment to the charity. It's a huge honor for me to receive this award and I'm extremely honored by my Project Wingman family for this recognition of my work. I'm so proud to be a part of Project Wingman for NHS Heroes. So I would like to thank to our amazing CEO Emma Henderson for creating something big with a bigger purpose and giving us this opportunity to be a part of it. Nothing feels better, nothing is more rewarding than being there for someone, for others, for each other. And lastly, I would like to thank to my team leader Mark Bairstow and my fabulous team at Leighton Hospital. Hope you all enjoy your evening. Hope to see you soon in the skies. Good night everyone. The next winner is Martin Hume, who goes above and beyond with a collection of donations and has learned not to leave cans of coke in the freezer after one exploded in the lounge, causing lots of amusement for volunteers and NHS staff alike. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you for this award. I really didn't expect it at all. Um, it's such a privilege to actually work for such a great cause and to be part of such a great team at the Princess Royal Inn here with Heath. So yeah, thank you very much. The next winner is Kirsty Cruikshank. Kirsty went out of her way to help every day in the lounge and was the main contributor in organising and managing our stock donations. Evening everyone, 
not really sure where to start but I'm absolutely mortified for uh, being awarded something. I'm not the best person at taking a compliment but thank you oh. to whoever it was that <laughs> nominated me. <laughs> That's my dog. Um, but I'd like to accept this on behalf of the other two team leaders in Aberdeen. That's Lawrence and Lindsay. And of course the rest of the Project Wingman team in Aberdeen. Thank you. Have a nice night. The next winner is Michelle Jordan. Michelle was an area manager and fundamental in helping us set up all five lounges in the Midlands. And she's now working for the NHS and continuing to volunteer at the Warsaw Lounge. Hi, um, thank you so much for um, the people that nominated me. Um, for this award. It was a huge, huge shock when I received the phone call and quite emotional, to be honest. Um, Project Wingman gave me um, the chance to give something back, but also gave me a purpose after losing my job at Flybe. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody um, for believing in me, everybody for supporting me, um, and thank you so much. The next winner is Jess Hall. She spent countless days in the lounge, even when not rostered, going around to donators and potential donators at her own expense. She demonstrated extraordinary leadership commitment to Project Wingman, despite the personal disappointment of redundancy, and continues to volunteer as a part of the fundraising and events team. Hi, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to those that nominated me. It's incredibly humbling to even just be nominated. I cannot thank my team at Elgin enough for all of their hard work over the past year. You guys are incredible. I should probably also say thank you to my family for putting up with me over that time. Being a part of Project Man has been such a rewarding experience and I am so excited for all that we have to come in the future. The next winner is Viv Radi. Viv has volunteered for Wingman from the early days and has committed a huge amount of time to the charity in multiple lounges, all while raising her two young children. And she's now volunteering as part of the vaccination programme. She's also helped launch Lewisham, Queen Elizabeth and our Wellbe bus. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of Project Wingman over the last year. It's been absolutely amazing to be able to help out the NHS staff at such a crucial time. And I've met so many inspirational people and loved every second of it. So thank you. the award for Corporate Sponsor of the Year. And the winner is... Gold Key Media. Gold Key Media has made a huge difference in creating a true first-class lounge experience. They continue to donate papers, magazines and a variety of products ranging from snacks to beauty products. Wow, what a thrill. I really can't describe to you just how much this award means to us as a team here at Gold Key Media. We are absolutely over the moon, thank you. And to be honest, I wish we were presenting you with awards, as in our eyes you are all superheroes. I, I really can't capture in, in, in words just what an incredible experience it has been working with, with you all throughout this, this pandemic. I suspect you'll all have some wonderful memories and COVID war stories to take away from this experience too, and that one day you'll be able to share them with your grandkids. For me personally, I've lots and lots of special memories and will always remember way back in, in April 2020, when my son and I loaded up the pickup truck with magazine racks and boxes and boxes of magazines, and, and we headed off to 
the new lounges that you'd set up at King's and at Queen Elizabeth and North Middlesex. That first week we met some amazing people full of energy and enthusiasm and the list of names is endless but some special mentions that I'd like to sort of shout out this evening. Gary Bristow, Rachel Thorne, Eamon Green, Cy Dixon, Luke Barron, Ollie Chan, and the force of nature that is Emma Gauntlet too. Really incredible energy from the, those guys. I think what I also would like to, to really um, say this evening is, is that you as Project Wingman volunteers should never ever underestimate the incredibly positive impact you've had on the thousands of lives you've touched within the NHS. We really can't thank you enough for allowing us to share this incredible journey with you all too. Emma Henderson, Emma Gauntlet, Project Wingman, I thank you with all of my heart and from all of the team here at Golki Media for this wonderful, wonderful award. Thank you. The next category tonight is the outstanding commitment to the NHS and we have five winners. <laughs> The winners are, in no particular order, Rachel Thorne. Rachel is an invaluable member of the team, managing supplies and making distribution so easy, allowing the team to make a real difference to NHS staff. She now works for the NHS in a paid role, managing ex-wingers doing entry checks to the North Middlesex University Hospital and deserves to be recognised for her unwavering commitment to the NHS. Hi everybody, um, just a quick message to say thank you so much for my award for outstanding commitment to the NHS. Um, it really is an absolute honour and a privilege to have won this award. Um, it was an award I didn't know I'd been nominated for, let alone won, so it's absolutely an honour and thank you to everybody who voted for me. Um, and yeah, this will definitely be going on my CV as something because I'm very proud of it. Um, secondly, thanking um, Project Wingman for obviously giving me the opportunity to work in the lounge. Um, I worked in North Middlesex Lounge from April till June, uh, where I was a team leader. Um, I want to thank the team I worked with because they were all fantastic. You know, during that time I was made redundant from my flying job and they were all so amazing and supportive. I couldn't have asked for better people to be around at the time. Uh, we all bonded, we all supported each other and while we were there, you know, we were looking after the NHS but looking after each other as well, which was really nice. So thank you to all of those. Um, and I'm going to thank the NHS for all the work they've done during the pandemic and of subsequently on the back of Project Wingman they gave me a job as a project lead at the hospital where I was able to recruit 60 redundant and furloughed cabin crew and pilots um, to carry out a number of roles in the hospital um, and we are luckily still there and this contract has now been extended till the end of June so that's brilliant they've obviously recognised our hard work in the lounge and um, gave us a way of putting some money on the table for some people who didn't have any money coming in at all um, and for those who obviously were on a pay cut um, they've just brought some light into our lives we've met some great people both staff and patients um, it's just been a wonderful experience for everybody and I want to thank the guys I'm working with there because they've all adapted so well to an environment that I'm sure if you asked them a year ago would they be here they'd have been like no um, no one dreamed this would have happened a year ago um, and they've all adapted to a situation and environment. They deal, with, they deal with a lot of different situations on a daily basis and they're all fantastic to work with and they make my job a whole lot easier. So thank you to everybody who I work with in my team um, and thank you to the NHS. Thank you to Project Wingman and yeah, that's me. Bye. The next winner is Olivia Rundle. Olivia has shown so much kindness to the NHS staff and tirelessly supported them and volunteers. She never gives up and her passion is relentless, committing so much time to PW to keep her team, lounge and NHS staff going strong through a challenging year. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude to have been selected to receive the Outstanding Commitment to the NHS Award. This accomplishment is not something that I did alone and there are many others that deserve to share in this award. 
I'd like to thank all my volunteers for all their hard work and continuous support and giving up so much of their time to volunteer. Thank you also to Emma Henderson for setting up this amazing project and allowing us to be part of something incredible, creating new friendships in a support group when we all needed it the most. Also to Mason Hospital for their support. The next winner is Simon Dixon. Simon has led his team since the very beginning when King's opened on April the 15th last year, working day and night to ensure a success of both King's College Hospital and London Ambulance Service lounges. A humble individual who wants to give back and support others. A true hero. Wow, thank you very much. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the past year has been unforgettable for so many reasons, but throughout it, the main constant for me has been Project Ringman. It's been a huge positive in so many ways, managing to keep people sane and just plodding on within the NHS, both my teams, uh, and I'm sure within all the other volunteers throughout the charity. So, outstanding commitment to the NHS. Oh, that's amazing. It, it makes it sound like I've done a huge amount personally, but obviously, I wouldn't be here now this speech uh, without the wonderful women volunteers who put in so much time and energy uh, to look after me and the hubs at King's College Hospital and here at London Ambulance Service HQ. I can't mention all the names, we've had a lot in the past 12 months, but one core group who started alongside me last year on the 14th of April and stayed at King's till we had to leave in mid-December and it all were straight back in the London Ambulance the first week in January. We've pretty much become a properly dysfunctional family in the last 12 months and I couldn't accept this without thanking them personally. Without them, there's no way I'd be here now. Anyway, these are wonderful people are uh, Emily Stockwell, Gemma Whitehead, Guy Sorrell, uh, Jack Walton, Rachel Payne, Rhys Hall and Will Moll, who incidentally has been the absolute foundation of our teams, everything we've done. Uh, he's already done in the region of 300 hours volunteering in London Ambulance this year, over 1,000 hours volunteering in King's last year. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. This honestly couldn't happen without you. Anyway, uh, enough ramblings. I'll pass you back and get on with the celebrations here. Thanks, everyone. The next winner is Sarah Deforge. Sarah has the unique ability to bring people together and get the best from them. She always thinks of others and goes above and beyond for them. A true asset to the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital, working tirelessly to support NHS staff wellbeing, while studying at the university and working a full-time job for NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde. Thank you so much for this award. It is so unexpected, but I'm so grateful. Thank you to the wingmen who nominated me. I am so lucky to have such an incredible team and it is such a privilege to volunteer alongside you, looking after our NHS staff who really are going above and beyond. Um, thank you too to NHS GDC um, for everything you do and allowing Project Wingman through your doors. And a huge thank you to Emma Henderson for creating this project. Um, bringing the aviators together to um, help support the NHS as well as each other. So thank you and thank you so much for the award. The next winner is Luke Suddle. His commitment to Wingman, his lounge and the NHS is inspiring. He steps up to help whenever he's needed. Luke keeps NHS staff and volunteers going with his fighting spirit. Hello everyone, I've just popped up at Southern Hospital and I just wanted to jump on here quickly to say for the past year it's been an absolute pleasure working within the NHS and working at the hospital. Uh, I never thought that doing this for the whole year would bring so many good experiences. I've met so many amazing people, not just within the NHS, but within the volunteering team that I work with. Um, and yeah, it's just been crazy that I've won an award for it. I still can't believe it. I just wanted to say uh, thank you to all the staff that I've met within the NHS. You've been so great. My, my team that I work with, you're all amazing. You know, I love you all. We're a little family now, which is great. I want to say an extra thank you to Matt. You are an absolute legend when it comes to making coffee. And an extra, extra thank you to Alex for not only being an amazing partner for helping me work within the hub, but just being there for me whenever I need you, man. Thank you so much. Here's to another year of Project Women. Yeah.
Next tonight is the winning lounge with the best and funniest moment. The winners are, with one of the quickest lounge setups, largest volunteer list, diverse mix of crew from lots of different companies, Belfast. So here's the Valentine story from Ken. On Valentine's Day in the lounge, one of our regular visitors was introduced to Leslie, who was working with Ken. Ken and Leslie were reminiscing about their previous time flying together, as it was Valentine's Day, there was love in the air and the visitor had said what a lovely couple they make. Didn't realise though that Ken's happily married to a man and Leslie is also happily hitched. Shortly after the lounge opened, we received a visit from the Director of Nursing for the Trust. We explained the lounge and what it was about while she enjoyed a coffee and a treat. When she was relaxed, I also said to her that we'd offer shoulder massages, haircuts as well as manicures and pedicures. It took her a little while to realise we were joking and she didn't know how to react. Hi everyone and welcome to Belfast. On behalf of everyone in Belfast, I want to say a huge thank you for the award. We're so honoured and proud to have won this. We couldn't have won it without the volunteers that we have in the lounge who create so many amazing memories and moments for our NHS staff. However, there's so many amazing moments and memories that are made in the lounges throughout the rest of the UK. So we accept this award on behalf of everyone and for all my volunteers in Belfast, thank you so much for everything that you do. Everyone else in the rest of the lounges, you're all amazing. Keep going. Thank you. See you soon. And finally, we have the winners for their sensational support of colleagues and volunteers. Luke Barron and Michelle Harper. Luke and Michelle both supported volunteers through the closing of the Watford Lounge at the end of May and ensured that they were able to continue volunteering by working to set up Stanmore. They also ensured the safety of all volunteers by making sure that they're Covid tested every two weeks and they campaigned to get them vaccinated at the same time as the NHS staff. Hi everyone! Hello everyone! Uh, we just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has voted for us past and present. Uh, we're quite grateful for this award so we'd like to put a few thank yous out today. Uh, this is a massive thank you to Emma Henson and the rest of the Project Wingman board. Um, honestly without you guys um, coming up with this suggestion a year ago we wouldn't be where we are now um, and we wouldn't have achieved what we've achieved um, with every single one of the lounges including our one. And a special shout out to each and every one of our volunteers past and present. You, this is an amazing family that we've acquired here and um, we couldn't do this without you. You're so supportive, so loyal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're so grateful to you. So um, proud of you, honestly. Each and every single one of you have contributed in your own way um, and it's just made it just bigger and better. Um, every time we get a new volunteer, they, you know, we welcome you with open arms and you never want to leave, which is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> it's been great. I mean, no supporting the NHS through all this, but I think what's most important is in the whole year with our mental health being um, challenged so much as it has been, I think it's been really good for all of us from the different airlines to come together united and yeah. sharing a common goal. So yeah, yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant for all of us. Honestly, I couldn't be prouder of what's been achieved. Very proud. Yeah. So from Definitely. the bottom of our hearts. Massive, honestly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> the next winner is Michael Holmes, Magic Mike. He's the glue that has kept everyone together in and out of the lounge. He's kept everyone going with a sense of humour, but also his care and compassion when it comes to family issues and redundancies. 
It takes time to make sure that you're okay. Hi, it's Michael from Project Wingman in Gateshead. Thank you so much to everybody who voted for this award. I'm taken aback. I am amazed that I've been voted for it. I never expected it. I've just done what everybody would do. Um, I've enjoyed every minute of Project Wingman. It's been um, a fantastic experience and it will continue to be a fast, fantastic experience um, to be doing it alongside Erica. Um, and I can't thank Tom Davies and Al Thora good enough for their support in the um, original times of Project Wingman last year. We wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for them, so thanks guys. Um, and a massive thanks to all the volunteers who have voted for me for this award. Um, as I said, I am a bit taken aback. Um, I would have done what I've done anyway, but um, it's lovely that you've all voted for me and I'm, uh, I'm very much appreciative of it. So thanks guys. Um, thank you so much. We'll continue to do Project Women for as long as we can and we'll continue to have uh, a great laugh doing it and support the NHS. So thanks guys. Really appreciate it. The next winner is Patricia Thompson. She turned a bare, unused children's ward into a bright, friendly and happy place for staff to spend time in. Coming in on days off if the lounge was understaffed, Jane is someone you could go to if you needed help or support. Hey everyone, uh, I was totally overwhelmed when Sophie called me and told me that I'd won uh, the award for sensational support of colleagues and volunteers, especially as it you guys at the REH that were the best support for me. Um, you've all been absolutely amazing and thank you so much for making such a fantastic hub work for all your support and especially for all your nominations. Um, a huge thanks goes to Emma Henderson as well because without her this none of this would have happened. Um, she threw us a lifeline at the middle of Covid and we grabbed onto it not quite knowing what we were setting ourselves up for but we muddled through it and we got there in the end and what a brilliant journey that we all had. We've all made some fantastic friends, some lovely memories and had some very, very good fun. So look forward to seeing you guys after lockdown for hugs and drinks and have a great night everyone. Thank you. Lots of love. The next winner is Evie as a party. One of a kind, lives and breathes Project Wingman. Without her, Warsaw wouldn't be what it is today and she goes the extra mile to make sure everything is perfect for volunteers and dedicates a huge amount of time to the lounge and coming up with new ideas. Hi guys, I'm Evie Azapardi, the team leader at Project Wingman Warsaw Legacy Lounge. I just want to say I'm so honoured and so, so thankful for all those that nominated me for the sensational support of Colleagues and Volunteers Award. I can't believe I won. <laughs> the past 10 months that our lounge has been open, we opened on the 27th of May 2020, and we've had an absolute roller coaster of a year. Um, lots of laughter with a little bit of tears along the way. My volunteers, past and present, have all been absolutely incredible, and I cannot thank you guys enough for the support and the love and everything that you put into that lounge. We really couldn't be where we are without you guys. So thank you for nominating me. I really, really appreciate it. But this award isn't just for me, it's for you guys as well. So thank you so much. Our final winner tonight is Erica Coltai. She's worked to secure paid employment for 22 wingman volunteers within the NHS and still works to share opportunities with volunteers to help others find employment. She volunteered in the lounge as well as wingman on the go, working to deliver snack boxes to COVID wards to support staff who couldn't leave the ward for food and breaks. It's Erica from Project Wingman Gateshead. I'd just like to say um, how overwhelmed and surprised um, that I've won the support. Um, very, very grateful. Um, and I would like to say thank you to a few people, um, mainly all my colleagues and volunteers, the crew, who are now actually family. Um, we are an amazing team here and we've come a long way. Um, but in particular, I would like to thank Kerry Gowland, who believed in us and she got us here into the hospital. She welcomed us with open arms. And um, here we are one year down the line and we're still here and we're now actually going to be a permanent feature here at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Gateshead. Um, and the other one who actually really, really supported us is Stephen Stokoe. Um, and he was, um, he believed in us, uh, in all of us, in our skills. And here we are actually with jobs as well in the QE. Um, and yes, we are absolutely amazed at this. And th this award is really the icing on the cake. Um, so again, thank you. But last but not least is I really want to thank my daughter because without my daughter Asia, 
I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here volunteering. She's supported me coming into a hospital full of COVID and supporting me at home um, when, you know, when I've needed it. So I just want to say thank you, Asia. Thank you. It means the world to me. And thank you, Project Winman, for giving us all this opportunity. Thank you. It's been a lovely evening and it's been a privilege and a pleasure to be here. Wingman, you've been brilliant. Just to wrap up this evening, here's some of what you've managed to achieve this year. Thanks everybody.